First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh I'm coming back at you again with another video. The name of this video is um, Avoid the Chip by Any Means. Avoid the Chip by Any Means Necessary. Um, this is Revelation 16. I'm going to read it. And then I'm going to follow up with some other information. Um, so the first angel went and pulled out his bowl on the earth and became a loathsome and malignant soul of the people who had the mark of the beast and who worshipped the image. You know, um, I don't know if anybody, for the ones that don't know, the mark of the beast, RFID chip, you know, it's, it's, it's the same thing. And it's coming, it's coming a uh, fast rate, you know, a very quick rate. And um, this is what's going to happen. You know, if you get that chip in your forehead, on your wrist, your arm, or anything of that nature, you know, it's going to be your ass. And um, this right here is really showing how Esau is going to come. You know, he's going to cause all the small and the great, rich and the poor, the free men and the slaves. You know, the free men... The daily man you see, you know, and it was supposed to be bond right there by the um, slaves. People that's the and people that's in jail, too, are going to have a decision to make, too. You know, to, to get it, it's going to be hard, and they're going to come down hard on them, too. You know, free people that's not in jail, you know, and then you got the slaves, quote-unquote. It's supposed to be um, bond, people that's locked up in a way, but... uh. This is how things are. Excuse me for that. You know, he causes all the small and the great, the rich and the poor, the free men, the slaves to be given a mark on their right hand or on their forehead. Same thing I was saying. It's going to be in your right hand or you're going to get it in your forehead. You know, if you get it, just purr the blank purr. That's your ass, man. That's just. And um, there's a video I had came across. I was actually looking at it. One of the brothers from um, GMS, a good teacher, good elder, to me in my own opinion, you know, he is an elder. He had posted it, and I'm going to share this video. You know, the video is kind of um, kind of long, but you know, I just wanted to get to the point. And um, this video, I hope it helps out the people that's out there. And you know, let's get to it. This is a, this time frame is not relevant to AI. You can't take ten years. From the point at which it's dangerous. It's too late. And you feel like this is decades away or years away from being too late? If you have this fatalistic attitude and you yeah. feel like it's going, we're in a almost like a doomsday countdown. It's not necessarily a doomsday countdown. It's it's a out of control countdown. Out of control. Yeah. People call it the singularity, and uh, that's that's probably the great thing about it. It's, it's a singularity. It's hard to predict, like a black hole, what what happens past the event horizon. Right. It's so if once it's implemented, it's very difficult because it it wants the able gene to, out of the bottle. What's right. going to happen? And it will be able to improve itself. Right. Yes. That's where it gets spooky, right? The idea that it can do thousands of years of innovation, or very very quickly. Yeah. And then we'll be just ridiculous. Ridiculous. We will be like this ridiculous, biological, shitting, pissing thing, trying to stop the gods. No, stop. We like we like living with a finite lifespan and, and watching, you know, Norman Rockwell paintings. It, it could be terrible, and it could be great. It's not clear. Right. But what, one thing is for sure, we will not control it. Do you think that it's likely that we will merge somehow or another? with this sort of technology and it'll augment what we are now or do you think it will s replace us? Well, that's the scenario. The, 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 the merge scenario with AI is the one that seems like probably the best. Like For if, us. Yes. Like if you, if you can't beat it, join it. <laughs> that's... <laughs> yeah. You know... Um, so, from a long-term existential standpoint, that's like the purpose of Neuralink, is to create a high bandwidth interface to the brain, such that we can be some 
robotic with AI because we have a bandwidth problem. You just can't communicate through your computer system too slow. And where's Neural Link at right now? I think we'll have something interesting to announce in a few months. That's at least an order of magnitude better than anything else. Probably, I think, better than probably anyone thinks is possible. How much can you talk about that right now? I don't want to jump the gun on that. Um, but what's like the ultimate? What's what's the idea behind it? Like, what are you trying to accomplish with it? What would you like? Best case scenario. I think best case scenario we effectively merge with AI, uh, where we AI serves as a tertiary cognition layer, uh, where we've got the limbic system, um, kind of the, you know, the primitive brain essentially. We've got the cortex. So you're, you're currently in a symbiotic relationship. Your, your cortex and limbic system are in a symbiotic relationship, and generally people like their cortex and they like their limbic system. I haven't met anyone who wants to delete their limbic system or delete their cortex. Everybody seems to like both. And the cortex is mostly in service to the limbic system. People may think that that, that, their, that their thinking part of themselves is in charge, but it's mostly their limbic system that's in charge. And the cortex is trying to make the limbic system happy. That's what most of that computing power is oriented towards. How can I make the limbic system happy? That's what it's trying to do. Now, if we do have a third layer, which is the AI extension of yourself, that is also symbiotic. Um, and there's enough bandwidth between the cortex and the AI extension of yourself such that the AI doesn't de, de facto separate. Then that could be a good move. Come for the future. So instead of replacing us, it will radically change our capabilities. Yes, it will, it will enable anyone who wants to have superhuman cognition. Anyone who wants. This is not a matter of earning power because your earning power would be vastly greater after you do it. So it's just like anyone who wants can just do it. In theory. That's the theory. And, and if that's the case, then, and let's say billions of people do it, then the outcome for humanity will be the sum of, of human will, the sum of billions of people's desire for the future. And that, that billions be, of people with enhanced cognitive ability, radically yes, enhanced. Yes. And th which would be, it, how much different than people today? Like if you if you had to explain it to a, a person who didn't really know, understand what you're saying, how much different are you talking about? When you say radically improved, like what do you mean? You mean mind reading? It would be difficult. It would be difficult to to really appreciate the, dif the difference. Um, it's kind of like, how much smarter are you with a phone or computer than without? It's you're vastly smarter, actually. Shrink? That's, that's, that's crazy, you know. That's one of the issues I just wanted to um, spot on and talk about. And um, I got this information from this channel right here. I want everybody to get a chance to please go ahead and subscribe to Yahweh Shah's coming back, you know. These brothers from JMS saved my life. You know, they opened my eyes. And um, these are the men of, of the most high, you know. These these brothers, you know, anything that you need and you looking for, you can go on this channel. And I bet you, if you type it in, GMS or, you know, it, Point blank period, the elders and the apostles of GMS is going to be able to break it down to you better than anybody that, that you can come to, better than a deacon or evangelist or any of those things. But before I close it out, I'm going to read it again. I'm going to read Revelation 13. And he causes all Esau, you know, the small and the great, the rich and the poor, the free men and the slaves to be given a mark on their for their right hand or on their foreheads. I could have sworn that's what that devil just was talking about. You know, he they talking about pleasing the flesh. 
over the spirit. They just trying to destroy your conscience, your mind thing, and they want to just straight break away your connection with the most high. And you're going to be surprised. You're going to have a lot of men that are out here that, that's in this truth that's going to take that chip, you know. And it's, 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 it's crazy, you know, like what beneficial reasons are you going to get? But if you take that chip, this is just going you're going to get. This is this is the judgment that you're going to get. You know, Revelation 16 and 2. You can get a loathsome and malignant sore. Um, it's like gruesome. And, and you know, it's, it's going to be a gruesome. It's going to be a real funky, nasty sore you're going to get on your body. And that's how you're going to know. I'm glad the Most High is doing this because then you can pinpoint who really is with him who's not. Under no circumstance, Akim, don't take the, the, the chip. You know, the Most High is going to get us through all these hard times that's, that's coming ahead. You know, because these should be glad times. The prophecy is being fulfilled, Akim. So we should be happy. We should be glad. You know, Yahweh Shah is on his way. He's coming sooner than what we thought. You know, and, and we just got to. Staying out, you know, keep these um scriptures in our minds, our hearts, and um, you just gotta remember that you know he's coming in a fast, real fast rate, very fast, and um soon, you know, every eye is gonna see him, even the ones that curse him. And I remember one of the the brothers from GMS had was talking about that every eye should see him, even the ones that curse him. And it makes sense, you know, about reincarnation. I did I actually did a video about um, I was talking about reincarnation, but I'm gonna get into it um, a little down the line. But um, really speaking about um, reincarnation and everything, you know, he is 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 the ones that the Romans that persecuted him and did those things to him are the same people as here now, and not even really the Romans. You know, the, the our people, the ones that reject him now, and then, man, I don't want to hear that shit. And, you know, okay, motherfucker. When you see him, when you see the Son of Man coming from the clouds with great glory, you feel me? And you, your bitch ass is going to wish y'all would have missed listening to the men of the Lord. But this, this is Micah coming at you, you know, from the tribe of Judah, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. And give a much honor, respect to the, the great rulers and apostles of GMS. I hope that um, this video was edifying for you. I'm gonna come out with some more, you know, I'll be um, in due time. But um, I can just keep your head up, stay strong. Shalom.